Lesson 20, graphing on a coordinate plane. A coordinate plane is basically two number lines that are perpendicular. So they are two perpendicular number lines. This little symbol right here, the upside down, capital T, stands for perpendicular. So we're going to take a number line. Here it is, boom. And we're going to draw another line that's perpendicular to it, right through the center, which is called zero. So sometimes we call this the origin. On a number line, to the right of zero, we have one, two, three, four, five, and so on. That's what the arrow's for. And to the left of the origin, we have negative numbers. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and negative five, and so on. When we have a perpendicular number line, the positives go up and the negatives go down, kind of like a thermometer. So we're going to go up, so the, this point right in the middle is the origin. So we go positives as we go up, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then negatives as we go down the number line. Um, if you think of a giant C for coordinate plane, you start here and you go around, just draw it really, really lightly, like that. This divides into four quadrants. So this one where we started our C is the first quadrant. And we just use a um, Roman numeral one. And then as we come around, this one's the second quadrant. Keep going, this one will be the third. And the very last one then is the fourth. So the origin is listed as a point zero, zero. So the first number is from the x-axis or the horizontal axis. The second number you see is from the y-axis. We'll label this one the y-axis. And it's the vertical number line. So in the first quadrant, all of the x values are positive and all of the y values are positive. So your point will be, will have a positive number and a negative number for the ordered pair. Oh, I didn't say what that was. An ordered pair uh, represents a point on the graph where x comes first and then y comes second. And this is how we write an ordered pair. In the second quadrant, you'll notice our x values are negative and our y values will be positive. In the third quadrant, they're both negative. And in the fourth quadrant, x is positive and y is negative. Independent variable is usually our x value. It's the variable that we get to just choose. It's also called the input variable. So we have independent It's going to be the x value. It's the variable that we can choose. It's also called the input variable. Then we have the dependent variable. That is the y value. And it's a variable that whose value is determined by the input value, by whatever you choose. So the y is the variable that depends on the input value. 
and it's also called the output variable. So we're going to use some, uh, show you some examples of uh, using the independent and dependent variable. So here's an example, and this will look like some of your problems. Make a table and, and a graph for y equals 3x minus 4. So when we make a table, we always put the independent variable on the left and the dependent variable on the right. So our independent is x and it goes on the left and our dependent is y and that goes on the right. So we get to pick a number for x, any number. So we're going to start with 0. If x equals 0, we can do 3 times 0 get 0, minus 4 is negative 4. If x is 1, we have 3 times 1 which is 3, minus 4 is negative 1. How about if x is 2? So we have 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 is 2. And what if we did a negative number for x? So we'd have negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. We can graph this and use each of these like points. So we'd have 0, negative 4, 1, negative 1, 2, 2, and negative 1, negative 7. So we draw our coordinate plane And it looks like our x values go up to 2 and our and negative 1, so we'll just put 2 on. Um, the y values actually go down to negative 7, so let's see if we can get down to 7. Whoops, not quite, so I'll make it a little bit longer. And we're going to go up to at least 2. I'll just go a little bit more. You can number all the, the lines or you can just skip over some like I did here in the negatives. So our first point is 0, negative 4. That means we go to 0 on the x-axis, which is right in the middle. Then we go to negative 4 on the y. Once we get there, we can put a dot. Then the other point, 1, negative 1. So we go to 1 on x and down to negative 1 on y and that's our second point. 2, 2 means we go to 2 on the x and then up 2 on the y. And negative 1, negative 7 means we go to the left one and down 7. It's kind of like, um, what's it called? Battleship. It reminds me of Battleship where you have to go over, left or right, and then you have to go up or down for the second number. And that's the end of the lesson.